The aim of test, track and trace is to hunt down and isolate the virus so it's unable to reproduce. And crucially, test, track and trace allows us to take a more targeted approach to lockdown while still safely containing the disease. Creating this system is a huge national undertaking of unprecedented scale and complexity. We've already taken Britain's small but brilliant diagnostics industry and taken it to global scale. We're building an army of human contact tracers who can man the phones and find the contacts and support people. And of course, we're developing the contact tracing app, which can help us deliver test, track and trace on the mass scale that we need across the country. The app, which takes full consideration of privacy and security, has already been tested in closed conditions at an RAF base. And today I can announce the next steps. From tomorrow, we will begin to pilot test, track and trace on the Isle of Wight, starting with health professionals and rolling out this week to all citizens. I'm grateful to the huge enthusiasm shown by islanders who, who know that by participating in this pilot, they're at the forefront of helping get Britain back on her feet. Where the Isle of Wight goes, Britain follows. The island has a single NHS trust, one local authority with the responsibilities for public health, a relatively low number of COVID cases, and because it's an island, we can run this trial in proper scientifically controlled conditions, comparing the effect with the effect and with what's going on on the mainland before we roll it out to the rest of the country. So here's how it'll work. Last week, we put in place the testing capability on the island. From tonight, the contact tracing capability will go live. And then tomorrow, NHS staff on the island will be able to download the app. And from Thursday, each one of the 80,000 households on the island will get a letter from the chief nurse with comprehensive information about the trial. Islanders will then be asked to install the app. Once you've installed the app, it'll start logging the distance between your phone and other phones with an app nearby. It's been designed with a form of Bluetooth that conserves power so the app won't drain your battery. And this log of proximity information will then be securely stored on your phone. If you become unwell with COVID symptoms, you inform the NHS via the app. Other app users who you've had significant contact with in the last few days will then be sent an alert by the NHS along with advice about what to do. A test ordering function will then be built in. If you're watching this and you live on the Isle of Wight, I have a simple message. Please download the app to protect the NHS and save lives.